here in just a week, the Windy City will host the Democratic National Convention. And as it approaches, tensions are rising with a major protest planned by pro-Palestinian groups. The potential unrest centered on the conflict in the Middle East, which has angered many in the Palestinian American community. News Nation's Mills Hayes joins us now with the latest. Mills, we've been um, hearing about a potential protest uh, that may be rather large in size. And now that Vice President Harris is at the top of the Democratic ticket instead of President Biden, could there be less demonstrations? Hey, good morning to you, Nick. Well, I spoke with protest organizers. They tell me that they still expect there to be tens of thousands of protesters out there at the DNC, regardless of Kamala Harris's position as a new Democratic frontrunner. And people in that community that are planning to protest say they have mixed reactions when it comes to Harris. Now, Kamala Harris is seen as being a little bit more sympathetic to the Palestinian calls than Biden. Many activists argue that she hasn't done enough, though, despite her recent calls for increased aid to Gaza and a more nuanced approach to Israel, the protest organizers remain resolute. They are preparing uh, for what they hope will be a demonstration on par with what happened at the 1968 Democratic National Convention. And uh, there are stark similarities to these conventions, but these protesters say they see this as an opportunity to voice their concerns on a national stage. Bill, what can you tell us, though, about the motivations behind these demonstrations and, and why are they expected to be so large? No one wants a repeat of 1968. Right. And, and there's a wide range of topics and causes when it comes to this protest. But the main one is that these protesters want an immediate and permanent ceasefire in Gaza. They also want U.S. aid to Israel to stop. Uh, they would like to see more effort to end this war. Chicago actually has the largest concentration of Palestinian Americans. The protests are being driven by a deep sense of anger and frustration within the Palestinian American community particularly in Little Palestine. That's just outside of Chicago, only 15 miles from the United Center, where the DNC will be held. And many of these residents have direct ties to Gaza and have been profoundly impacted by the ongoing war there. The protest includes over 200 advocacy groups with varying causes from reproductive rights to combating police brutality. Organizers are demanding significant change in U.S. policy towards Gaza and are not satisfied with the Biden administration's actions. The Anti-Defamation League, a group that combats anti-Semitism, sounding off on X after flyers were found in a nearby neighborhood with, quote, anti-American and violent rhetoric. Chicago leadership tells us that while they do respect protest rights to freedom of speech, if there are any kind of security issues or safety issues, uh, they will uh, step up and put into place any kind of security measures that may be needed to keep the community safe. And Mills, Nick? in the background of all that, we know that we're still waiting on a judge's ruling on whether or not they can march in a certain area around the DNC. Mills Hayes, thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.